Hey everybody, Ann here, sitting out on my porch, just finished my coffee, and I am a woman on a mission. As many of you may have guessed, well, I'm going to get some rabbits, and I am going to raise them for meat. I am. And Lena at Red Road Homestead has some, so I'm going to get some of her rabbits. So I have been converting that chicken coop into a rabbit hutch. So I'm putting the finishing touches on it, so here, take a look. Oh, God, that is so lame. You know when people say, oh, let's take a look. Well, let's take a look.
that was a lot of work. Um, it was hard cutting that hardware cloth. And the reason why I, I used the, well, they're like bolt cutters or pipe cutters. Um, first is that first little part of the hardware cloth is really hard to cut. Um, I don't have any, you know, traditional wire snips. So I just used the scissors and it worked. Um, and you may be wondering why I didn't make a whole frame. Puppies. <laughs> Why I didn't make a whole frame and I didn't put wood at the top and the bottom? Well, because I wanted to be able to bend it up and put it in. Otherwise, I would have had to get inside and build the whole thing inside the, the uh, chicken coop. And also, I want to be able to bend it up and take it out quite easily so I can clean things. So um, that's what you saw me doing. And it fits pretty good. I might make a couple adjustments with the hardware cloth. Um, because once I got it in there, it wasn't perfectly square, but I think it's going to be good enough. Um, and just because I think the shape of the actual house itself is not square. Um, and then those boards, those two boards that I made the ramps out of, those uh, came from the wood that Donna B brought with her when she came down here the last time. And they're the perfect length. They went all the way from one wall all the way up to where the little you know, nesting whatever, they don't, I, I don't think they really have nesting boxes, but they like to have a place to go and escape or whatever. Um, so they're not going to slide. Um, they're the perfect size. And then I just put some limbs on. And um, So now all I got to do is do some uh, more cleaning, uh, scrubbing, getting everything all nice and clean for them, put some bedding in. I'm undecided on whether or not I'm going to put bedding over that um, wire hardware cloth because I don't think I need it. Um, I think just in the, the hutch part. So, um, I'm excited. It's almost there. I am this close to getting it done. One more thing that I think I might do is where the hardware cloth is in the outdoor run part, I might run one or two more boards underneath of that because, I mean, it'll con come in contact with the ground, which, uh, you know, is not the worst thing ever, but um, we do get a lot of rain and moisture here at certain times of the year, so I may want to keep that kind of elevated so the little bunnies don't get their little feet wet all the time. Um, I'll just have to think about that and um, you know just kind of see how they do when they get out here but it's gonna make harvesting of droppings very very easy I can just pick that thing up and and pull it on out and clean it out um, so that that makes me happy so I've been studying about rabbits you know what they can eat of course rabbit pellets and hay and you know various other things um, and I'm trying to look into things that I have growing already on my homestead that they can eat that grow wild and there's plenty there's plenty so and like I said I'm going to raise them for meat so I've also been researching on how to harvest them and um, it doesn't look like it's any big deal to me so I think I'm gonna be able to do it and they will be hopefully if I can keep them um, they will be a uh, you know a, a source of protein for me um, the only complication is going to be when, um, you know, if I have too many males, I'm going to have to do something different with the males because you don't want a bunch of males in there running around. Um, so I'll have to figure that out and I will. Um, I've, I've already kind of started thinking of a strategy for that. Anyhow, um, it's been a fun day. <laughs> it rained for a little while too. I can't believe it. So uh, I think this is long enough. That's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.